This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Omnitrax. Visit Omnitrax.com for more information and enjoy the show. There's change on trucking's horizon. Crackling with innovation, swelling with interest, electrification is coming. We got our first look at what shape electrification might take in the heavy-duty world when Cummins unveiled its Class 7 fully electric concept truck. But how does the electric drive technology fare in terms of usability, and what applications can it tackle? Find out right now on this episode of On the Road. I'm Jason Morgan, and this is Alex Chrissy. We travel the globe to get our hands on the latest truck equipment and talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipments on the Road. The Cummins Class 7 fully electric truck is dubbed an urban hauler tractor, tackling delivery operations, port drayage, and terminal container handling applications. It weighs in at a maximum 75,000 pounds GVWR with a tractor at 18,000 pounds. It sports a 44,000 pound max payload and performs at a 30 miles per gallon diesel equivalent, according to Cummins. The truck includes a battery pack offering with a charge time of one hour for a full charge and a range of 100 miles. That range can be extended to 300 miles with an additional battery expansion. It also includes an engine generator option, leveraging the Cummins B 4.5 or B 6.7 engines. According to Cummins, the engine generator option offers 50% fuel savings compared to today's diesel hybrids with zero emissions and can boost the range to 600 miles. I spoke with Julie Ferber, Cummins Electrification Business Development Executive Director, to dive into the details. Talking on the diesel side, the lighter weight is a big consideration for the diesel. Yeah. What role does the weight play in the battery and the electrified powertrain? Would you, if you add that weight in, what's it do to the payload or so the, power? So the battery in, that's in there now is 140 kilowatt, and that is de- that's a weight equivalent to a 12 litre diesel. And if you wanted to go up to a 300 mile range, you would need a bigger battery. But over time, we're seeing the power density of batteries improve significantly, so we believe there is a time when the energy density will in fact double and we'll be able to get batteries that are you know comparable on weight. I do want to bring it back to what we'll see kind of near term, a range of hybridization. Yeah, so in the so a mild hybrid, I mean we just have a small amount of electrification. So you can either electrify some of the accessories or it just adds a, additional fuel economy impact to the engine. Extended range vehicles then, uh, where you're getting a little bit more on to the electric powertrain. Yes. What applications would that open up for those vehicles? So that's ideal for applications that run some of their mission within the city, within a zero emission zone, but also then perhaps have a longer trip and go out outside the city. You could have the electric power train to have a range of up to maybe 50 miles and then outside of that you might run off the engine. You know, a great example would be a refuge truck where they spend all their time picking up but then they may have to go 20 or 30 miles outside the city. So we're okay. going to use it to do you know some missions with some of our end customers. We're going to do a bit of have a bit of fun taking it around to do some real work. Okay. Um, but in addition we're going to use it as a research truck as well. So okay. our power electronics and controls guys are going to be feeding in some of our newly developed components and testing those out in the truck. For more episodes of On the Road, head over to feontheroad.com.